The fact that prominent civil rights attorney Al Gerhardstein is now involved in the Kyle Plush death investigation has stirred talk today about a possible lawsuit. When asked about his request for all the logs, interviews, body cam recordings, and cell phone records, Gerhardstein told us we are looking into it, trying to find out what happened. He left it at that. The youth died last April while pinned by a seat in a minivan parked in the lot at his school, Seven Hills. I've always thought that uh, if there's going to be a lawsuit, it might be a lawsuit against the car manufacturer because apparently there was awareness of this problem. Uh, whether the city is liable, I don't know. David Mann and other lawmakers have authorized spending to improve technology and increase emergency response staffing in the past year. This can't happen to another family. Ron and Jill Plush have spoken at public forums with a personal, passionate mission to identify failures and solutions. Will it be easy? No. Will it be quick? No. We are 100% committed to the effort of improving our emergency response process. But recently, the Plush family's been dissatisfied with results of an independent investigation. To this day, the rank-and-file representative believes the officers who responded acted as they should have with the information they were given. In some corners of City Hall, there is an uneasy air of lawsuit expectation, even though there's been a working relationship and a continuing sadness about the tragic nature of what happened. That doesn't mean necessarily we're legally liable. That's what courts are for, and they've got themselves an excellent lawyer. And that would be Al Gerhardstein, who made it clear today he has nothing more to say on this right now. We contacted the Plush family about it, and Ron Plush told us right now we are focused on foundation activities. That's a reference to the Kyle Plush Answer the Call Foundation, and don't have any comments. Live at City Hall, John London, WLWT News 5. John, thank